Hi everyone, we're going to be doing the unboxing and installation of the Rapsol screen protector for the iPad 2. Um, and here is the box, I have not opened it and uh, we're going to try opening this up and then seeing how well it, uh, it applies onto the iPad 2. So I'm going to open this up, right? So here's the unboxing. Now I really should have opened it up from the top, but that's okay. So once again, it's the Rapsol screen protector. So here's the, the screen protector here. So maybe it goes like this. Okay, and then in the screen with it are uh, some stickers that I'm assuming this should have been on this, but anyway, it's over here. Uh, so it shows you with some, gives you some instructions on how to implement it or install it. Seems to be some kind of glue or something on this, but that's okay. So there's the... Uh, instructions there are how-to videos that uh, I guess you could look at before but we're just going to take it um, and try that out try it out with the instructions now there is a smoothing out device that you can use for smoothing it out and then you've got the Rapsol um, cloth that you can use for cleaning your device so why don't we get started? So here's my iPad 2, and I'm going to keep that there. Now one of the points is, I'm assuming this should have been off on the cover, so it's going to be a bit of a tricky thing to get this on without having that sticky piece there. But anyway, why don't we get started? So the first thing is, let's clean the device. Now I have cleaned the device, I have a nice orange cloth here. Uh, which I have previously cleaned. Make sure there's no spots on it and no dust. So I'm going to try this one out. Hopefully this should be good. And it seems to be like a fairly smooth, smooth uh, cloth. Okay, so that's done. Now it says remove and discard backing. So that's going to be the tricky thing about what is the backing. The part that has the um, lined thing is the front and then the bottom which I haven't taken out is the, the back. So it says remove uh, the discard the backing. So I'm just going to make sure that it's free of any, any dust and uh, I'm just going to put Take out the backing and apply it. Just uh, give me a second and here you go. I'm going to take the backing out and, and I'm going to use the tabs to uh, make sure that it's completely aligned so that I don't touch the, the part of the screen. Okay, and I'm going to make sure I hold it by the tabs and I'm going to angle it slightly so that I can see what it is I'm doing. And although it seems sometimes easy, it is taking a bit of a... It's kind of tricky to get everything right aligned. And, and I think that's good because it's not covering the camera. And although I'm slightly out it does seem as if it's it's fine. So I just want to make sure that the camera is open. This is open and it's not conflicting. And it looks fine, so it looks good. I'm going to use now the piece that I came with and smooth it, smooth it out before I remove the plastic covering out of this. There seems to be quite a few bubbles in here that I need to remove out, so let me 
do that as best as I can. And as you can see, the bubbles are coming out. It's just a matter of trying to get all of them out. So I've uh, removed as much of the bubbles as I can. As you can see, there's quite a bit of bubbling up that happens. Now it is quite cumbersome to take out every single bubble. So what I'm going to do is I'm not too sure if this is part of the top layer or not. So I'm going to remove it. So I don't know if you can see this, but I'm trying to oop, take it out from the top. just to make sure that the top layer is not the one that's actually introducing the bubbles and don't want to spend too much time on it and here we go here's the top layer and it looks like hmm, looks like those bubbles are actually there at the bottom it does say allow for 24 hours uh, for it to be completely good so what I'm going to do is take off the the top take out the tabs and take out the top layer and actually wait for it for 24 hours because I think I've done as much as I can to remove the rest of the, the thing. Now, it does look pretty nice. It doesn't look as if there is, well, I, as you can see, there's lots of different bubbles. But I'm going to wait till 24 hours and see if it, uh, if it does go away um, after trying to smooth it out. And um, we'll come back and let you know how it goes, all right? So again, this is the, the wrap saw. Um, need to wait 24 hours before I can give it a thumbs up. And uh, it's as clear as air, air bubbles over here. So let me see if that actually works or not. So for now, it's uh, here it is. And I'm gonna take out the tabs and, uh, and get back to you in uh, in a day and finish off this video.